Wake up to money. 85058. Now, this one may not have got quite as much attention in the budget as the tax changes, but on Wednesday, the Chancellor unveiled new plans to reform technical education for young people. The so-called T-levels aim to streamline thousands of skills-based training options that are currently there to just 15 core qualifications and put vocational training on a more equal footing with academic study. So what on earth is the T-level and how will it help? Geoffrey Fowler is Principal at London. London Design and Engineering University Technical College. Good morning to you, Geoffrey. Good morning. Now, you're one of the new breed of, of sort of skills-based schools for that 14 to 19-year-old bracket. Are you excited about T-levels? I, I'm very excited. Uh, you know, as a head teacher, and particularly of a head teacher of a university technical college, um, th- this, is, uh, this is good news for us. Um, what this is going to allow is that uh, the young ch- children have clear pathways into technical education on the same level as, as A-levels. Is this a, a rebranding exercise? Um, no, I don't think it is. I think it's uh, raising the aspirations of our, of our young people. Um, you know, when we look at the people in the, you know, the students in my school, um, they, they desperately want to go into engineering, go into the built environment. And at the moment, they're finding that, uh, you know, most schools are encouraging them to go into, uh, you know, A-levels because you know, they, they don't have the facilities to, to be able to deal with these courses. Um, I, I think that's to be applauded. The, the more we can get into engineering and, and, and commerce, the the better but um what happened to the city and guilds because everyone used to talk to youngsters a few years ago everyone well, i've got a city and guilds i don't hear of it anymore well the city and guilds is still there um it's, you know it's one, one of the uh, the examples that's still out there um why don't we hear about it um well it's because the the like i say the young children particularly in my school are, are almost persuaded not to go down that route you know they're persuaded that uh, you know the vocational the the technical side is, is almost like a, a second class um, is, is this like um you know kid children being persuaded that they should go to university rather than take up an apprenticeship which seemed to have been the trend in the past 10 years but is now being changed yet again. I, I, th- I think it, uh, it has an element of that, um, but I think what, what we're actually realising is, uh, well, let, let, let's take our school, for instance. Um, you know, we have many employer partners, OK, and these employer partners are, are desperately trying to recruit, um, you know, the right people into their workforce. Um, we, we hear regularly that, um, you know, businesses are, are complaining about the quality of students coming out, um, particularly the transferable skills and, and, and you know, the use for, for those skills into, uh, in, into their businesses. So what this is allowing is those companies to actually, you know, uh, uh, explain what they want, you know, explain the skills that they're, they require. What, inf- what influence would a T-level have for a student going to apply for a job? Well, first of all, the T-levels, t- um, you know, it, and, and remember, this is early days. Um, you know, if, if, if the government and employers, you know, get this right together, the employers should be the creation of, of, of you know, these T-levels, um, explaining exactly what they want. So, therefore, the employers will feel comfortable about the, the T-levels, you know, and they would want to, uh, you know, get involved and employ the, the students coming through that route. But more importantly, the students and their parents will feel comfortable and, and you know, encouraged. Mm, to that's the crucial it. factor, isn't it? You have to convince the parents that these really are equivalent to A-levels. That's right. I mean, at the moment, you, you, you know, A-levels... Um, like I said in my opening remarks, um, you know, A-levels is one, you know, we here, we, we, we do both. We do technical qualifications and A-levels and we do GCSEs. So it, it's a mixed um, a mixed route. Will this, be, we, if, will this be a big shake up for your school or is it, I mean, as we say, just that sort of that rebranding idea or will you actually have to change quite dramatically what you're teaching at the moment? No, we're, we're a technical school, so therefore we're, we're doing this already. The, the, the highlight that I, I, I feel really good about is that, that now other schools will feel comfortable in, in following suit. And, and the, you know, the announcement of, of the creation of more schools, that you know, more technical schools can, can, can uh, start. Is this a new dawn for tr- training as far as you know, business is concerned, Geoffrey? Because to be perfectly honest, we haven't been that good at it in the past, have we? No, we've not. And, and I think that what we need to do is, is to respect that the government has recognised that, um, you know, that, that we need to overhaul this. Um, if we take, you know, the, the main reason of this is that, you know, it's from the Lord Sainsbury's report, um, you, you know, reducing it down. And therefore, we, we need to be positive. We need to take it forward and, and really embrace it so that we can actually have an equal um, education, um, you, you know, 
supply for everybody. Geoffrey, thank you very much for joining us on this morning's programme. Geoffrey Fowler, their principal at the London Design and Engineering University Technical College. Let's have a look at the uh, financial markets now. And our guest this morning, Sue Nofka, 